panic surged through Miguel. He remembered Abuela Imelda's warning and scrambled to grab the glass box. But it was too late. The colossal dog, its cosmic eyes now blazing with fury, lunged. Miguel barely dodged its snapping jaws, the blue coat shimmering as it deflected the attack. He sprinted towards the exit, the weight of the stolen riches a heavy burden on his conscience. The dogs, surprisingly swift for their size, gave chase. Miguel scrambled down the tree, the rough bark scraping his skin. He could hear Abuela Imelda's cackle echoing in his ears, a sound that sent shivers down his spine. Reaching the ground, Miguel sprinted towards the village, the dogs hot on his heels. The villagers, startled by the commotion, watched in disbelief as a ragged man chased by three magnificent dogs tore through the dusty streets. Miguel, his lungs burning, reached the safety of his ramshackle hut. He slammed the door shut, the flimsy wood barely holding against the dog's onslaught. They barked ferociously, their combined roar shaking the very foundations of the hut. Inside, Miguel collapsed onto his cot, his heart hammering like a trapped bird. He clutched the glass box, the only reminder of his foolish greed. Shane nodded him. He had risked everything for riches and come away with nothing but fear and a guilty conscience. The barking continued for what felt like an eternity. Finally, as the first rays of dawn painted the sky with streaks of pink and orange, the dogs fell silent. Exhausted and remorseful, Miguel drifted into a restless sleep. He awoke to the sound of a gentle tapping at his door. Hesitantly, he rose and peeked through a crack. On his doorstep stood Socho, the kind-hearted baker's daughter. Her eyes, usually sparkling with warmth, held a hint of worry. Miguel, she said softly, everyone is talking about yesterday. Are you all right? Miguel hesitated. Shane threatened to consume him, but Sochil's genuine concern loosened his tongue. He poured out his tail, the encounter with Abuela Melda, the temptation in the magical tree, and his foolish greed. Sochil listened patiently, her brow furrowed in thought. When he finished, she spoke. Miguel, she said. You may have made a mistake, but there's still time to fix it. Abuela Imelda is known for her tricks, but she is also fair. Perhaps, if you return the stolen riches and offer her the glass box, she might show mercy. Miguel's heart flickered with hope. He knew it wouldn't be easy, but the alternative living with the guilt and fearing Abuela Imelda's wrath, was far worse. He thanked Sochil for her advice and set about formulating a plan. He gathered the stolen treasures, his ill-gotten gains now a weight on his soul. With a heavy heart, he made his way back to the mystical tree. The climb was even harder this time, his legs shaky and his spirit deflated. Reaching the summit, he found the tree bathed in the morning sunlight. The blue coat lay discarded where he had left it. Downing it once more, he felt a flicker of protection, a strange comfort in this place that had brought him so much trouble. He approached the first door, the memory of the blue-eyed dog still vivid in his mind.
Taking a deep breath, he opened the door. The silver coins lay undisturbed, shimmering with a cold, metallic glint. He left them untouched. With a pounding heart, he opened the second door. The chest overflowing with jewels remained as he had left it. Shame washed over him, hotter than the midday sun. He closed the door and proceeded to the final chamber. The giant dog with cosmic eyes stood guard. But this time, there was a flicker of recognition in its gaze. Hesitantly, Miguel placed the glass box on the chest, his head bowed in apology. The air crackled with energy, and then, silence. The dog lowered its head in a slow, deliberate nod. A sense of relief washed over Miguel, as refreshing as a cool breeze on a scorching day. Suddenly, a figure emerged from behind the tree. Abuela Imelda, her cloak billowing in the wind, stood before him. Her eyes, no longer mischievous, held a hint of amusement. You've learned a valuable lesson, Miguel, she rasped, her voice like dry leaves rustling. Greed is a fleeting pleasure, while honesty brings true peace. With a flick of her wrist, the glass box disappeared. The blue coat shimmered and dissolved into dust. Miguel stood bare-chested and empty-handed, yet he felt lighter than he had in years. Go!